cheese is a popular dairy product, and this video is about cheese fermentation. Cheese making is the process of fermenting the lactose in milk, usually cow's milk, to lactic acid by microorganisms. By producing cheese from milk, the nutritional and economic values of milk are preserved for a much longer shelf life. The product cheese can have pleasing and distinct characteristics including aroma, texture, flavor, and appearance, which greatly diversify people's diets. Let us take a close look at the cheese making process of Camembert to have a general idea about how cheese is produced. Firstly, the milk is heated up to 72 degrees Celsius, held for at least 15 seconds, and cooled back down to original temperature for pasteurization, then the milk goes through standardization and filtration in order to ensure that the milk is homogeneous and free of contaminating microorganisms. In traditional cheese making, these two steps can be skipped. Pour the milk in a pot and slowly heat the milk over low heat to 32 degrees Celsius, then, sprinkle the mesophilic starter over the milk. The mesophilic starter culture consists of Lactococcus lactis, which consumes lactose in milk, can produces lactic acid, decreasing the pH and assisting the coagulation. The temperature is kept at 32 degrees Celsius since mesophilic bacteria has the optimum growth temperature between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. P. candidum mold powder is also sprinkled over the mill. Penicillium candidum is a mold that gives the surface of camembert cheese a fuzzy white texture and prevents contamination from other microbials by catabolizing lactic acid. After rehydrate for 5 minutes, mix well using a whisk in an up and down motion. Cover and maintain 32 degrees Celsius letting the milk ripen for 1.5 hours. Add the calcium chloride and gently whisk in. The addition of calcium chloride is to compensate for the loss of calcium ions during pasteurization. The curds can be even more stable. Add rennet in the same way. The rennet is the main coagulant in the coagulation. It is basically a group of proteinase from animal, plant, and microbial source. It cleaves the K casein from casein missiles, which have polar K casein at the surface and hydrophobic cores. The cleaving forces the missiles into a matrix. Compared to other types of coagulations, rennet coagulation is fast, the coagulum is more stable and the whey can be more easily separated. The coagulum formed is cut perpendicularly and at the angle of 45 degrees Draugheli to initiate the separation of curd from whey. Stir gently to avoid matting. The whey is drained so that only the curd is remaining. Add the salt and gently stir to incorporate. Ladle the curds into a mold set on a draining rack over a tray. Let drain at room temperature until the cheese is firm enough to flip. The cheese is taken out of the mold and put it in a ripening box. A wadded damp paper towel is placed in a corner of the box with the cheese to keep the humidity in the box high. Place the box in the bottom shelf of the refrigerator. Flip the cheese every day. And in few weeks we would have our nice cheese ready. 